today I'm going to be talking about the science behind alarm clocks. We all use them, we all need them, unless you have no responsibilities. Well, anyway, at 6.05 that alarm clock you have will be going off. If you hit the snooze button, you will receive about 10 more minutes of sleep. But the question is, should you do it? Your total sleep will be going up, right? But if you've ever tried this, you know that you really feel more tired even though your overall sleep does increase. To understand why this happens, you must understand the sleep cycle. So once you fall asleep, your body will go into a deeper sleep a few hours into sleep. But about an hour before your body is ready to wake up, it releases cortisol and dopamine and increases your body temperature and lightens sleep to get you ready to start your day. Your optimal time is normally not achieved because of interruptions done by alarm clocks. Going back to sleep may start the sleep cycle all over again, getting you even farther behind, resulting in you being tired. By hitting the snooze button, you just turned an okay day into a bad one. But don't let that bug you. Instead of hitting sleep three different times, just have that 30 minutes of uninterrupted sleep. These gaps are called fragmented sleep, which is less restorative and leads to daytime impairment. To not feel so tired, try adapting a more regular sleep schedule and stop with those all night marathons. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully you learned something. My dirty whiteboard and bad autofocus camera did not distract you so much.